In this session, we'll be discussing about one important class of fungus, which is Deuteromycetes. And Deuteromycetes are called Fungi Imperfecta. Very important common name because of that, they are being asked in most of the exams. Remember, they are called Fungi Imperfecta because of what you call this imperfect stage of reproduction. They don't show you sexual reproduction. They are imperfect of sexual reproduction and that's what the common name of this particular fungus is fungi imperfecta. There is no sexual reproduction, I have already told you. Now, when they don't reproduce with the help of sexual reproduction, there are conidia happening and because of the presence of conidia, they show you there is sexual reproduction. So remember, in Deuteromycetes member, you don't have sexual reproduction, you have conidia for asexual reproduction. When you talk about the mode of nutrition, they can have saprophyte or they can be parasitic. When we talk about, they are septed and branched. Remember, only phycomycetes were asepted. All other what you call classes, basidiomycetes, ascomycetes or deuteromycetes are septed. They are very important thing that they are decomposer of litter, which is remem remember this particular point that uh, that has been asked in most of the like uh, exams again that which particular class of fungus but most of the members are decomposers your answer would be deuteromycety so it it helps in what you call decomposition of litter so they help in mineral cycling when they decompose all those litter and all they help in mineral cycling question can be asked decomposition or question can be asked like that particular class which helps in what you call mineral cycling is fungus again now, what important point I mentioned here is they can be moved out to ascomycetes or basidiomycetes after establishment of linkages. What can happen in these members? Because of the some linkages found, linkages as in linkages which can give them some you know differences than deuteromycetes, and that time these members will be moved out from deuteromycetes to either ascomycetes or basidiomycetes. If you can see, there are the members, one very important member which is tenia or trichotenia and that other member is trichophyton both of the members are related to athlete's foot now athletes you must be knowing like i mean what happens is like if you can look your leg you have these four fingers you have this toe and these four fingers and row are having this particular space we wear the slippers like this so the holding is there which is preventing which is absorbing the moisture which is coming up here out here but athletes, they most of the time, they wouldn't run there with their shoes and all. They don't wear the slippers like this. That is the moisture gets deposited in here. And when the moisture gets deposited here, the fungus attacks. The fungus which is tenia or trichophyton. There are many species of tenia like tenia rubrum. So these tenia and uh, what you call trichophyton will be attacking over that particular moisture, will be growing there and will be causing athlete's foot. But remember, athlete's foot is just not limited to athletes. That happens in what you call normal human beings even if they are having the moisture deposit in on, you know, on these uh, what you call fingers of legs. One very important member again, it's called Helianthosporium or rice, which causes brown leaf spot of rice. This is responsible for Bengal famine. If you remember, one was responsible for Irish famine. The, the famine caused in what you call Ireland, and that was fight of Thora infestants causing late blight of potato. Helianthosporium arises since rice is the major food. It attacked what you call the most amount of rice in West Bengal. It is called Bengal famine. If I've already told you that there was a late blight of potato, which was caused by what you call Phycomycetes mamba, which was which was fight of Thora infestants. But late blight of potato is caused by Alternaria solanae. Solanae, it's for Solanum tuberosum. And Solanum tuberosum is the scientific name for potato. So this particular fungus is infecting what you call the potato and causing the disease. One important disease is caused by Collatotrichum folicatum. You must have seen the time you are chewing the sugar cane. And in the sugar cane, you see the red red marks are coming up. That is actually the fungus growing, which is actually making red rot of sugar cane. Those red marks there. And this is the infection of Collatotrichum falcatum. So till now we have discussed about most of the classes of fungus. Now one important life cycle which you'll have to remember is Puxenia life cycle. And if you remember, Puxenia was Basidiomycetes member. So in next session we'll be talking about life cycle of Puxenia.